We're Charles and Marion Cummings, and Katie, our daughter. Well, hello. Welcome aboard. Let's see, Mr. and Mrs. Cummings. Yes, you're on the Fiesta deck, cabin 202. And Katie, you're in the adjoining cabin 204. Thank you. Uh, we're meeting our friends, Mr. and Mrs. Clark, and their son, Brett. Mm -hmm. Have they arrived? No, not yet. Excuse me. Thank you. <sighs> Katie, how long has it been since you've seen Brett? Oh, not since the party you and his folks had for us when we went away to college. That long? I'm surprised the two of you haven't got together in all that time. Well, how could we? You and his folks weren't around to uh, arrange it. Now, Katie. Come on, Dad. You four have been trying to get us together ever since you dropped us in the same playpen. Now, the next thing you know, you'll accuse us of arranging this trip just to get you two together. Well? Hey, Chucky, baby, we're here! Go on, go on. Hey, how you doing, Katie? How's college? Great, you? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Those two look better together all the time. What we haven't been able to accomplish all these years, I'll bet that Moonlight and the Love Boat will. I've got that feeling again. <laughs> look at the kids. We might not even need the Moonlight. I knew it would happen. Ah, uh, Katie, could you move over a little? You're blocking my view of that great-looking blonde. <laughs> oh, come on. You can do better than that. She reminds me of that nerd you had a thing for in high school. Oh. Well, <laughs> what did I know in high school? <laughs> Here we are. Oh! Oh, this is all wrong. It should be boy, girl, boy, girl. <sighs> lost her partner, so to the rescue, Silver. <laughs> Mr. Clark, Miss Cummings. I think we've met. Yes. <laughs> we've got to do something about this babe. I know we have to do something, but does it have to be that drastic? I think we've been polite and patient too long, Katie. Now, if we want to stop them from forcing us together, we've got to be bold. I know, but hey, you two. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, thanks. For what? What's tomorrow? The shuffleboard and dance contest. You're signed up as a team. We didn't... Oh, I know you didn't. Your parents did. I'll see you later. Doesn't that convince you? It's never going to stop. You're right. Let's do it. Well, after all, they want us together. And how can you be more together than sleeping together? <laughs> In. Oh, uh, what's going on? What's what's happening? Katie did not sleep in her be bed last night. Have you seen her? Uh, Katie? No, no, I haven't seen her. The last time we saw her last night, she was with you. Oh, well, we had a drink, and then we said goodnight. 
What's this? Champagne. Did you need two glasses? Uh, policy of the ship. They serve you two in case you break one. Are you wearing lipstick now? <laughs> and you have given up jockey shorts. <laughs> okay, okay. So I had some company last night. Brad! What? I'm a big boy now, Mom. And so as not to embarrass the young lady, I'd like to ask you all to leave, please. Honey, our bath's getting... <gasps> Whoops. Katie. Oh, what have you done to my daughter? Uh, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> she seduced him. That's what she did. Hmm. I know how those young girls operate. When I was a young girl... Forget that. She seduced him. That's all. <laughs> Yes, I know just where you'd like to sit. Thank you, Julie. Good morning. Well, here we are. And you know the Clarks. <laughs> Not anymore, we don't. Thank you. We like it like that. That hussy daughter of yours certainly had us fooled all these years. Arcadia hussy. <laughs> oh. oh, well, that's pretty ironic. Coming from a couple who've reared a sex maniac? Sex me. <laughs> I put Brett's morals up against anybody. Ever since that daughter of yours was five years old and you caught her playing doctor, I knew she turned out to be promiscuous. <laughs> Katie was the doctor, but remember who the patient was who made the appointment? <laughs> Brett. Katie always was oversexed. Are you crazy? That's ridiculous. If anything, she's undersexed. <laughs> like her mother. Hey, no. I mean, Katie's always behaved herself. Uh, she's never been in a situation like this. Uh, excuse me. And your son will never have a chance to take advantage of her again because we've forbidden her ever to see him. You could have saved yourself the trouble because we aren't permitting Brett to see her. Hi. Hi. Where are your folks? They could be anywhere except where your folks are. I'm sorry. I, I, I just thought they'd get mad at us. I didn't think we'd start a family feud. You know, if, if this were like old times, I'd, I'd accuse our parents of putting that moon up there just for us. <laughs> They've done everything short of that, haven't they? Oh, by the way, I meant to congratulate you this morning. It's a good piece of acting you did in there. Oh, you were the star. You were the one who had to act so guilty. All I did was come out in a towel. Yeah, but what an entrance you made. You should wear towels more often. You look terrific. <sighs> you noticed? How the hell did that happen? Beats me. I think we're falling into their trap. That sure felt a lot better than the last time I kissed you. At your 12th birthday party, remember? I, I, I don't know. I think I have to try it again. Katie, before we tell our parents that nothing happened last night, let's wait, huh? Maybe something will happen tonight. You two were told to keep away from each other. What are you two doing together? Is this some of your doing? Our doing. All right, now hold it, folks, right there. Now listen closely. When Katie and I were together last night, nothing happened. Nothing happened? Nothing no. whatsoever. You expect us to believe that? Well, you've got to believe it because it's the truth. Now, the four of you have gone so far with your matchmaking, it was the only way we could think of to fight back. We knew it would shake you up, but we never dreamed you'd beat each other's throats. We're sorry. Oh. Well, uh... 
Well, who's supposed to apologize first, the uh, parents of the sex maniac or the uh, parents of the nympho? <laughs> Wait a minute. If nothing happened last night, how come we just caught the two of you in such a big clinch? Oh, uh, well, that's a very good question. We were trying to figure that out ourselves. And we're planning on doing a little more uh, research on the subject. You know, it's a frightening thing to admit, but maybe parents do know best. Excuse us. <laughs> I booked for 20 ushers and 20 brides. Oh, I've always dreamed of a big wedding. And we can have the reception at our club in the ballroom. Look at them. We don't have the heart to tell them. <laughs> Oh, no. Don't tell me you're not getting married. Uh, no, we already did. In Cabo San Lucas last night. You did? <laughs> <laughs>